overpowering the sun with a strobe. For this shot, we used one Bowens light with a Bowens battery pack, a small octo box, and one light stand. Your ability to overpower the sun will depend on the power of the strobes that you're shooting with as well as the time of day and the intensity of the sun while you're shooting. In our situation, the sun was coming from nearly the same angle as the strobe, but we metered the strobe power about a half a stop greater than ambient exposure. This gave us a nice deep blue background and really saturated the colors in the entire image. Our camera was set to f14 at 1 200th of a second and ISO 100. It's important to point out that with a shot like this, your strobe output is going to be much greater than if you're just using it as a fill light. Because of this, recycle times in between frames are going to be longer, so you will have to shoot at a slower pace. So let's say you want to shoot outdoors and you don't want to use the sun, but you, um, you want to use strobe. One uh, great trick is to overpower the sun with your strobe you have to watch your shutter speed and your apertures on these, but the slower you shoot, you can pick up a really nice blue sky. The environment around the model will be a bit darker, adding a little drama to the shot, and um, it's particularly really nice with a leaf shutter, which we'll go into later on another tutorial.